I got I got no idea what I'm going to talk about. I just feel like man there's nothing up here. Oh my goodness. Wow man. The empty mind. What's up everyone? Welcome back to yet another YouTube video where I do a lot of talking and do nothing much and my video tanks. But anyway, I just keep on trying. I just keep on trying different things and I'm really tired of making the same kind of video where I saw you cooking and everything. I kind of feel like there are other things I can I can I can talk about and today I have come up with been I've been writing but I think I just came up with five skills to learn or five jobs that will do really 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 well in Australia. If you are here, if you have some of these skills I think you will do fantastic and i'm gonna talk about that but before that can you please let me know where you are watching from and if there is anything that you want me to talk about any anything that you feel like talking feel free to leave the comment down below all right let's start with number one job that will make yourself trader that you will be your own boss and you can do it very easily here with very minimum amount of money number one is pottery there are a lot of people up here who want to learn about basics about the pottery. So if you are someone who has a knowledge in pottery, you can you can have a stall like me. Look, man, you, there's just so many stall like this in regional area, in places, even in the market, in in cities where we can teach people. And even if you get like say a hundred people per week, and you're charging around twenty bucks per hour per session, you'll do really, really, really good. And pottery is really undervalued and I think a lot of us from Asian country can actually actually do very well. Even even from other developing nations, I have seen many people here, they, they, they work on it. So it's just like, if you focus on doing this, I think you will do really well with pottery. Alright, number two is barber. If you can, if you are someone who has interest or if you can, teach yourself how to cut a hair, trim a beard, a beard. You can have your own store. Like I said, these are all small businesses. You don't have to spend a lot of money. And if you can do just well, if you can stay on track, focus, and just pursue on your dream of having a, having a self-reliant business, I think Barber does pretty well. There are always people who need to get their hair drawn, be neat, be trimmed. So this really does well here in Australia. So if you are someone who is coming, who is looking for job changes, then considering everything that is going today. And uh, if you are someone who doesn't like to work for other people, I think learning this skill can be really, really, really good. That will give you a financial freedom and freedom in time as well. So I think it's a good idea to think about it. And number three is if you are someone who can sew clothes, if you are a tailor, if you have a basic practice of sewing clothes, see in Australia we buy a lot of lot of clothes, and then as soon as something starts to wear and tear in the fabrics, we start chucking them because we don't have a tailor nearby. And and these are these are the type of business where you can sit in your own room and run a business through Google. You can you can just promote yourself in Google and then as you get a customer you will get a review and and you you will do really well if you are someone who can who can sew who can be a tailor who can promote yourself look there are a lot of lot of clothes that needs to be done again after we purchase them because they don't exactly fit we buy ready-made product and if you want to make that nice fitting within yourself in the cloth and this really has untapped potential this really has an untapped potential and a lot of people are looking for the help in and tailoring and sewing. So this can be another fantastic profession to think about if you want to get out of the rat race and be yourself. Yep. All right. Another one is Nepali food, Nepalese food, but not like me. Look, I'm, I'm barely making it because look, I'll be honest here. I don't really know a lot of authentic foods, man like you know i don't know i should have but i don't know but if you are someone who knows how to make really authentic food 
you know bring bring that and i think like having an open kitchen gives you that uh, more advantage so if you are someone who can make a really nice nepalese food not just our typical food but if you can go little bit little bit historic in terms of food in terms of diversification you can do really well up here and you really don't need a lot of money you get a license within certain amount of money you get a stall like this in very short and plus like you know many people don't realize just like we have a market up there in our home country uh, we also have a market here so we just take our food in the market and we sell just like any any developing nations or just like in our country in nepal any you know so this can be really 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 good idea if you are also interested in making a food and then you know like being your own boss all right last but not the least we have is being a cobbler if you are someone who knows how to sew or shoes if you are if you know how to stitch shoes leather bags fix the watch you can really start up your own businesses and they these are the type of profession you don't need a lot of money and and also like you have you can easily get many products in credit uh, because many businesses they work in credit like when i order my my products or packaging you know, like this kind of containers i also get a credit i don't have to pay them as soon as i buy them they deliver me i have 15 days i have 20 days i i, I make a sale and i make some money and i send it to them so doing this it also gives a little bit of mobility gives you that fresh breath to to do something and to to just think like what i'm going to what i'm trying to say is it really gives you a freedom later on at first you i know it can be tough you know you be scared you know the economy the market is down and everything but at the same time this is also a very good time to get out if you are here and if you are overseas and you think it to come in these basic skills will give you a very big advantage when you are here let me know how you find this video i know it can be difficult and challenging not to not to make a nice content or you know like we kind of just we are just stuck in our head and we don't know what to make a new video so if you find this kind of video nice informative or however you want please let me know and if you are someone who have been watching my video please subscribe comment like let me know it really helps and i think by now you realize i'm not going anywhere so you might as well subscribe and be the part of the journey we can be we can be engaging we can be doing so many things we can be talking about so many things we can be bridging the gap and i just want to be in youtube and just so you know with whatever we have whatever practices we do we can we can be something or we can at least try in this platform and that is my goal let me know how you find this video thank you